Hi, Mama Hi, Mama Hello, Hi, Mama Hi, Mama Hi, Mama Hi, Senator Aimee Marcos is not just a senator for those who voted for her. She is a senator for all Filipinos. This is exactly what President Rodrigo Duterte said before when he said he is a president for all Filipinos and not just those who voted for him. And this is also what President BBM said as well. You know, the good senator represents all Filipinos. Now, I understand there were two guest lists that were operating. And of course, as I'm sure as everyone could imagine, it was very, very uh, carefully put together. The embassy wanted to ensure that all members of the Filipino community groups were invited, you know, representatives of each of those community groups were invited, which was excellent. And I'd like to pay my commendation, my credit to the Philippine embassy. However, before the meeting started, because I got there very early, before the meeting started, I saw somebody there who I knew was a prominent campaigner uh, against uh, the Marcos family. You know, he, he was a campaigner um, uh, against, uh, uh, I think, uh, the Duterte's before. You know, he was talking about stop the killings, all these kind of things. And we all knew that. We all knew this person was a campaigner. Now, my question with the greatest respect is if you know somebody is a campaigner against the Marcos family, if you know they are likely to protest, how comes they occupied a seat? But not only that, a member of their family also occupied a seat. There were three or four people there who were clearly not supporters of the Marcos family. You know, surely that's a security risk. You know, what would stop any of these people pulling out a banner, doing something incredibly stupid, or basically uh, causing a problem for the good senator? You know, the guest list needs to be very carefully vetted. It's not for me to say, but what I find found most insulting was that same person who was milling around inside the venue then proceeded to stand outside the venue holding up a banner against Senator Imey when they'd been occupying one of those chairs that could have actually been given to a supporter of Senator Imey or at least somebody who was politically neutral. I get the fact that people who were at the event were politically neutral. They were representing the various Filipino community groups. But I have to say, 99.9% .9 of people in that venue were entirely respectful. Nobody was shouting, nobody was being rude, nobody was being discourteous to the good senator. But I found it quite astounding that, again, that somebody who is against the Marcos family could be occupying those chairs when there were people who were desperate to be at that event who didn't get that opportunity. Of course, I believe in people's rights to protest, to campaign, to rally. I've got no issue with that because I've even organised some rallies myself. But people need to pay, play fair. What I'm also unhappy about was, was when the good senator was speaking to those present, you know, community leaders... Somebody said, talk louder, she's speaking now. You know, how disrespectful is that? A senator of the Republic of the Philippines is about to speak and somebody inside the venue uh, tells the protesters outside to speak loudly, she's about to protest, she's about to speak. That should never have happened. That should never have been allowed. That should have never have occurred. Uh, the good senator was able to visit um, only just recently. She'd been around Europe and one of her stops was, of course, here in London. 
And I know that she very much wanted to meet the Filipino community. She seemed very uh, welcoming. She seemed very respectful. And I know during the meeting, she was insistent that everybody who'd been invited, she could see them clearly. There was even a moment where the media was standing up and she asked for uh, the media to move to the side that, so she could see everyone within that meeting. She's very engaging, you know, having listened to her speak, uh, I can say that she clearly is very passionate about what she wants to achieve and very passionate about the community issues. You know, she has a great deal of understanding. She's a senator with a great deal of experience. And it was good to have the opportunity to listen to her speak. I'm incredibly grateful for the invitation I received. Meeting Senator Aimee Marcos was one of the greatest honours and privileges of my life. I'm also very pleased that one of the KBL, my dear friends, the KBL group, was also invited to that said meeting. The reason why I wanted to talk was regarding this, you know. I believe, firstly, let me say at the outset, I firmly believe that everybody has a right to protest. When I heard about Anat Bayan and their intention to protest against the visit of Mam Senator Aimee Marcos, I checked online. And you know, I was going to do a supporters rally too for the good senator, but I was advised not to, so I decided not to. When I checked online, people are allowed to uh, rally or protest. Uh, as long as they're not marching, they actually don't need a police permit. So, of course, anybody was entitled to stand outside there and make their comments and make their protest. I have no issue with that. You know, that's people's rights and that's to be respected. At the end of the gathering, just after the photo shoot, I was fortunate enough to have been included in a, uh, a exit from the venue with the good senator. And, you know, I, I, it was an absolute honour, one of the greatest honours of my life to be there, to be able to protect the good senator from coming into harm's way. But what I, she obviously had her own bodyguard, her own security as well. But what I'd like to say is if you know there are going to be protesters, if you know there are going to be people against the Marcos family, why were they included in that list? I say that with the greatest respect. I've tried to remain silent, but I've received a number of messages. And finally, I'd like to say that it was advised out of respect not to be posting lots of pictures at the moment, not to be doing live videos. But again, there were people who were doing live videos. There are people who were posting pictures. Please can I ask that we show the respect and follow the uh, protocol advice.